A season after what many dubbed the remarkable turnaround for Ole Miss basketball, one that included an NCAA tournament berth, the Rebels fell flat for the 2019-2020 campaign. One of the biggest issues was that the Rebels didn't have a true bang it out big man in the front court. KJ Buffin played well when he wasn't on the bench because of foul trouble, and Hadim C was serviceable, but he couldn't do it alone. So what can the Rebels do going into the 2020 season? The answer lies in the NCAA's transfer portal. Former VCU big man Marcus Santos Silva is one of the most coveted bigs in the NCAA this offseason. The 6'7", 250-pound forward is unlike any player on the Ole Miss roster. No Rebel can do what Marcus Santos Silva can. He averaged a little under 13 points and 9 rebounds for the Rams last year. Both team highs. As a two-year starter, Silva was one of the most impressive players in the Atlantic 10. His sophomore season, he helped lead the Rams to the NCAA tournament with an awesome box plus minus of 8.6. He was an all A-10 tournament first team member and led the conference in offensive rebound, defensive rebound, and total rebound percentage. He also had the top defensive rating in the conference and the top win shares per 40 minutes in the conference. VCU struggled this past season, but Santos Silva didn't. His career box plus minus sits at 5.7 and his career field goal percentage, 57%. A lot of that has to do with the fact that Santos Silva doesn't take bad shots. He's not a spacer and he doesn't shoot from the outside. Literally, he's never taken a three in his collegiate career, but that's okay. Ole Miss doesn't need him to do that. They have plenty of guards and wings who can take those deep shots, and if they miss, Santos Silva will most likely rebound the ball for a second chance opportunity. He has 193 offensive rebounds in two seasons as a starter for VCU. He's also a reliable defender. He has a 7-1 wingspan, and he averaged around a block per game this past season. And his tape implies he can definitely match up against bigs in the SEC. Want proof? Go look at the box scores from VCU games this past season. He put up a 22.11 rebound performance against Tennessee, 17 points and 11 rebounds against LSU, and 12 points and 17 rebounds against Dayton. The Rebels will have competition though. Santo Silva's top schools include Georgia, Maryland, Texas Tech, Penn State, Arizona State, and of course Ole Miss. But Kermit Davis and his staff want Silva bad. He's an immediate impact player, and he can play right away because he's a grad transfer. Can they get him though? We'll just have to wait and see. For the Ole Miss Spirit, I'm Sudo Upadeh.